all right y'all what's going on it's combo breaker 99 i'm back with a real quick video here um i'm gonna come back and talk about this more but i just kind of want to come come on here now and just kind of give you my thoughts on uh, this recent post that uh you want to put up on her ig you know she was uh discussing her move up in the rankings and the fact that um you know some some girls are calling her out and um yeah i just wanted to be real quick on this one but i'm gonna come back and give you my full-on thoughts but um yeah i'll just go through the ig now uh, she basically was, you know, just talking about how, you know, she's uh, been moving up in her BJJ and uh, she's been um, working towards getting a blue belt. But the part that caught me was when she said, I'm super happy that I went up in the UFC rankings, the women's pound for pound and strawweight division. There's a lot of rumors about my fighting career retirement that that I shouldn't be in the rankings because I haven't fought for more than 19 months. I'm super happy and proud of myself. Very high of uh, being very high in the rankings, but rankings don't fight. I don't care who I'll be fighting, number 10, 5, 1. The most important thing now is dedicate, being dedicated, motivated, passionate, and disciplined. I'm, I'm my legacy speaks, my legacy speaks for me. So don't be surprised. Can't wait to put on a hell of a fight for my real ones. Uh, one more thing, girls, do not complain about me being high, being high in the rankings. I did my part already. I know there's much more to come. Take my place. I don't care. I know my value, and I know who I am. Always a UFC soldier. So, yeah, um... Yeah, for one, I still feel the same way about her, uh, her place in the rankings. Like it should, it should be, it should be falling. It should be falling with that much inactivity. That goes with any combat sport to me. Like if you're not putting in the work, and other people are putting in the work, you take over. I said that over and over. Uh, but the fact that you go up, that just seems crazy. You know what I mean? You can't go up while while these other girls are putting in work. You know what I mean? That that's just to show you that the rankings are playing favoritism it's not necessarily you putting in more work it's still the it's still the uh the people in charge of the rankings that are pushing you up i mean you can't live off of past accomplishments that's something i've said and i might have to discuss this in another video now where we kind of argue the the fighters that rose is faced on her resume versus hers you know what i mean like her title run was solid you know five title defenses but you know ronda rousey hit six valentina's hit six and there's good names on their resumes as well too you know what I mean? And that was four years ago for Joanna. So when you think about it, yeah, your legacy is solid. Yeah, the work you put in is solid. But as we push forward and the wheels keep turning, there's so many other fighters that um that have been doing the doing the work this year. Like in 2021 alone, Marina Rodriguez, who we we'll talk about now, is three and zero this year. You know, against top ten fighters. And um, when she addressed the part about don't complain about her being high in the rankings. They have a right to, you know, your, Marina has a right to. She's called her out before and Yolanda didn't seem like she wanted it. Now she's saying that she's did her part and now she's saying to come take her place. And um, she knows her value. She was saying she'll take on anybody from 10, 5 to 1. Well, that should have been an energy the first time that Marina called her out, right? Marina called her out before and said she would take that fight. Mackenzie said she would want that fight in an interview. You know, I have to go back and I did a video on it. Yolanda said she really wanted a title shot. So now... So now she's kind of switching up the game and letting us know that she'll fight a 10-5 or 1 and not necessarily a title shot. That wasn't the energy there. That wasn't the energy then. That's why some of these other fighters are getting mad, like Marina Rodriguez. Marina Rodriguez is saying, you're not active. You got to go, right? Because she called her out before, but at the time, Joanna just a few months ago said she wanted a title shot. But now the energy has changed, and now she's saying 10-5 or 1 and come take my place. But that goes back to what I said in my video a few days ago at the post press fight uh, conference with um, Marina. I think Marina's mind game is working. All right. So remember, I did talk about that. Marina's mind game is working a little bit because Marina said she needs to be taken out of the rankings. Right. And she was discarding the fight. Now, don't believe that she's ducking. This is reverse psychology now because. Marina will take the fight if it's offered to her. We know that, so we gotta kinda we gotta kinda play the mental game with Joanna. That's Marina's thing. Marina's playing the mental game. Marina said, take her out of the rankings. She said the right words to strike a nerve, all right? She said the right words to strike a nerve. Because we know that Marina's not gonna duck that fight. She already wanted it. And instead of instead of going into the face of Joanna and just saying the same old thing, she said, take her out of the rankings because she's inactive. So now that struck a nerve with Yawana. So what did Yawana do? She took the social media and said, look, I did my part. Anybody want to fight her, you know, come take my place. I don't care. Right. She knows her value. Right. So it worked. It worked. That's my point of this video. It, it did work because I, I said that in my video that 
if Marina says something about the ranking and that she doesn't want to fight her because she's inactive and she kind of hits her with the right words, Ioana will answer back. Ioana's going to clap back. Because Ioana's not scared to fight Marina Rodriguez. She's not scared. Uh, she's just a businesswoman now, and she wants top-level fights. But even to get the top-level fights every now and then, like I said, you've got to renew your status in the division, even if it is just one fight. And let it be this one fight. Let it be this one fight. Because like I said a while back, this fight makes sense on a lot of levels because Marina's where she needs to be. And Marina's calling out the fighter she needs to call out. You know, she's number four, right? So it makes sense for her to call out the number two. It's not like, look, I'll say it like this. It's not like the the flyweights that are, let's say the, the flyweights that are like number 15, number 14 that call out Valentina, that still have all that leg work to do. Joanna you, you is only two spaces above Marina Rodriguez. Marina's already did the leg work to get there. And now to get the status she wants, she's calling out a credible opponent. That's how you get credit by calling out somebody. You know what I mean? So it can't be, oh, Marina Rodriguez biting off more than she can chew. She's playing a good mind game right now. You know, she called out Joanna before. Now she's discarding the fight, but it's it struck a nerve with Joanna. So now Joanna answered back. So now Dana's probably going to be like, you know, we got to make this fight. Watch this fight get made. Watch this fight get made now. And again, Marina Rodriguez, she's doing the right thing by by calling out the fighter that's um, just two spaces uh, below the title shot. You have to fight up. It makes sense. I mean, who, who else are you going to fight at this point? You already you went 3-0 and this year. You fought your way up. Why fight down again? Why fight Jan Jan on? I mean, if if it came down to it where Joanna didn't take the fight, yeah, you could take a stay busy fight, but why do that? You know, why not um, start playing mind games with Joanna? And get that number two fight because like i said you're number four you're number two it's not like she's number 15 calling out rose now or saying oh i'm ready now or being one of these people like macy calling out macy barber calling out uh valentina shevchenko this makes sense you know what i mean so i think it's going to happen because she had the answer back when people started talking about her rankings as soon as marina brought it up in the interview i knew that would get a reaction like if she called Joanna out like to a fight Joanna probably would have said, nah, I'm going for a title shot like she's been doing in other interviews. But since she kind of hit hit her where it hurts, she hit her head, she hit her where it hurts when she brought up that um, inactivity. You know, she's probably willing to come back now. But yeah, man, I'm just being real. Like, again, I'm not talking about Joanna's past accomplishments. They are what they are. But again, like number two for 19 months and going on probably going on two years now, it should be. It should be number seven, you want, or number eight. Let's be real. Let's be real, because there's other girls, like I said, have got that status now. Like, I know she's got a lot of other fighters riding with her when they commented to this, but let's just be real, man. Like, we see it in boxing. Like, if Floyd, if Floyd or Deontay Wilder, they know was like number two for over two years, they would be saying, "No, nah, you know, you gotta, you gotta get them out of the rankings because they ain't doing anything." You know what I mean? They would still be questioning like Floyd Mayweather or something like that. Or people are still living off the, um, like you see here, they're living off the past with Ioana. No, like, how come a f champion like Floyd has to continue to keep winning and keep winning just to stay in the public eyes? People won't give him his credit like that or let him get a pass. Like, she's getting a pass for uh, for two years, and on top of that, hasn't had the belt in four years, right? So we're still living off of four years? No, man, like, you're, you're still a top, top, uh, top level straw weight and one of the best ever. You know, so you should be a top 10 fighter, but not the number two for this long. So, yeah, that's my thoughts for right now, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to drop this one. Um, we'll talk later in my next podcast episode about this situation. But um, I think Marina's doing right now. She called her out before. She didn't want it. So now she's saying, I'm going to something else. I'm discarding that fight. I'll fight somebody else. And Marie and Ioana needs to be taken out of the ranking. So if a fight comes out of what she said, out of, uh, out of this uh, little, you know, back and forth, um, I think we know that Marina played the right game. So, yeah, let me know, guys, in the comment section. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.